I've come to your school today to read you a story. Yay! Are you our new kindergarten teacher? No, I'm a student at Blackshire High School and I've come to your class today to receive extra credit. What's extra credit? It's when you do something to receive extra points for your class. Like this! I'm working hard, aren't I? Will I get extra credit? to write a children's story. You're a writer? Well, sort of. Our teacher asked us to write a story for children. That's why I'm here. Yay! What's it about? I hope it's about dinosaurs. <laughs> Did you know that Tyrannosaurus Rex was the king of all dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what they ate? Plants? No, the other animals, large animals. Stop it, Sean! Can you tell him to stop it? I don't like dinosaurs. I want to be a T-Rex, too! Stop it! <laughs> okay, boys. <laughs> Settle down. Now sit down and pay attention. Are you going to read us a story now? I hope it's about dinosaurs. <laughs> I hope it's about unicorns. Or ponies. Or princesses. My story is about any of those things. But I think you'll like it. Okay, who wants to hear my story? Me, 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 me. Once upon a time. Can I get a drink of water? <laughs> me too. I'm thirsty too. I'm not. I want to hear the story. I want to get a drink of water too. Can I? No, everyone sit down. My story's not that long. Can I get a drink of water after your story? Me too. We'll see. Me too. I mean. All right, everyone sit down and listen to my story. Do you want us to zip our mouths? That's what Miss Clemens makes us do. Oh. See, I zip my mouth. Yes, we all zip our mouths. <laughs> Except for you, because then you couldn't talk. Everyone but me, because everyone zipped their mouth. Good. Once upon a time, there was a caterpillar named Louie. I have an uncle named Louie! Mikey! You're supposed to zip your mouth! Well, you're talking too. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> all right, let's all zip our mouths one last time. Louie was a very unusual caterpillar. Why? Let her read the story, Susie. They're talking again. So are you. I'm not. Me neither. Okay, sit. <laughs> While most caterpillars were green, Louis was a rainbow of colors. I like that, a rainbow caterpillar. Caterpillars aren't the color of a rainbow. Yeah, that's stupid. That's me. Ow! Don't hit me. You hit me first. Oh, All right, what? stop. <laughs> I like to see a rainbow caterpillar. Me too. Louis <laughs> <laughs> was red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Ooh, that sounds pretty. <laughs> You should have made him purple. He has purple on him. No, all purple. With red dots. Yeah, that'd be cool. Cooler than a rainbow caterpillar. I like rainbow caterpillars. But you never seen one. Yes, I have. I know you have it. Uh huh. Right? You've seen them too, haven't you? I saw one in my backyard yesterday. But my brother went up to him and did this. Your brother killed the rainbow caterpillar? Yeah, my brother kills everything. <laughs> Are you ready to hear the rest of the story? Louis was red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But sadly, all the other caterpillars made fun of him. They did? Why? Poor Louis. Because <laughs> he looked funny. Stop it, stop! So after being laughed at, 
and teased. Like your Jesus, Susie. We crawled underneath a big green leaf. And ate it! Crunch, crunch, crunch! Yeah! <laughs> then what happened? Then Louis thought to himself, I will hide underneath here for the rest of my life. Why did he want to hide? Because no one liked him. I like him. Me too. I tell him to come out and he can crawl in my arm. Then he was. Then Louis felt something strange happening. I know, I know, I know! Ooh, I know too, I know, I know! <laughs> Sit down and listen to the story! What happened? He turned into a butterfly! And flew away! <laughs> Why didn't you let me finish the story? Because I knew that was going to happen. Me too! Louis transformed into a beautiful butterfly. Steve? And he was the most beautiful butterfly ever. And did he fly away? Far, far away and make new friends. And he lived happily ever after. He and Can I get a drink of water now? I'm thirsty. <laughs> Me too. I'm dying for a drink of water. I'm dying for one too. Sure. I'm thirsty too. Me too. No, am I. And so Louis flew away. And from that day on, everyone who saw Louis wanted to be his friend. And he was never teased or felt lonely again. Because now, Louis was the most beautiful butterfly in the entire universe. And he lived happily ever after. The end.